Hello fellow DVD, Blu-ray, and all-around movie collectors. Right now I'm going to go over my No Shame, My Communication, and 1-7 DVD collection. Now I'll go over what ties all these companies together. Um, but No Shame was an Italian DVD company that released Italian films. And they made the jump over to the U.S. and released a bunch of DVDs over here before going out of business relatively fast. They released wonderful, amazing releases. Uh, great transfers full I mean absolutely full of special features and um, sadly they didn't last that long and to my belief is they went under because they put so much effort into their releases and most of their films are relatively obscure Italian films and putting all that money in extra features you know ended up being their downfall but still it was a great company and a great run when it lasted and the first thing I'm gonna go over is from No Shame Entertainment is the Luciano Ericoli Death Box set, which contains Death Walks at Midnight and Death Walks on High Heels and a CD called The Sound of Death and Love. Various, uh, I believe, uh, music from various jallos. And inside that case, it's not really a box set other than just a collection. Um, you get two-sided uh, uh, cover artwork there, plus, you know, um, lots of inserts. Both movies there. Amazing release. Uh, a great uh, companion piece to the forden, Forbidden Photos of a Lady Above Suspicion from Blue Underground. Um, probably uh, No Shame's uh, greatest release, at least that I've seen. Got another Jalla here, part of the Sergio Martino collection called The Case of the Scorpion's Tail. Great strong Jalla here. Highly recommend that one. And then I have a bunch of Euro crime films from the company. Got Almost Human by Umberto Lenzi, Thomas Millen. Oh my god, this is one of my all-time favorites. Got another Thomas Millen, uh, your crime film. Got Emergency Squad here. And then I got um, A Man Called Magnum. This is, you know, these, again, are rather more obscure ones, these last few two. And that's why they just... I don't imagine these didn't sell very well, especially with all the special features. And as you can see, you get big booklets and all that with them. It's great. Got Convoy Buster starring, uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name, but he stars in uh, uh, Violent Naples and Rome Armed to the Teeth. And this sadly isn't near as good as those, but uh, um, if you're a fan of uh, Yo Crime there. The Last Round, which is a loose remake of Yo Jimbo and a Fistful of Dollars here. Um, they actually stuck a bonus CD of Euro Crime Music redone, which is uh, kind of an interesting uh, special feature there. Got uh, Double Game, starring George Hilton. Uh, one of my least favorite Euro Crime films that I've seen. It's just stylistically, it's not up to par with the other films. As a bonus, though, uh, it's a two disc set, which is amazing for such an obscure, not very good Euro Crime film. It has, on the bonus disc, disc, it has the rare sequel, Tony, Another Double Game, which is uh, only one element is left to be in existence, and that's from the director's own personal collection. So it's really cool to see such a rare film. But it's not any really better than the first double game. But also tons of special features, like uh, uh, short films by the director. So that's a really interesting release there for a not-so-great film. Got Colt 38, Special Squad. Really enjoyed this year's crime film. As a bonus... You wouldn't even know from the cover, they put uh, La Bidonata, or The Ripoff, as it's called. It was uh, a lost film that someone found in a box of uh, Japanese cartoons, and it's by the director Lucio, uh, Luciano Ericoli uh, from the box set there. Um, it's his last film that never got released, so it's really amazing to finally see that. So that's kind of the hidden film, another great release. Your crime film here, Gambling City, Sergio Martino fucking love this film and it's rather obscure but man this is definitely one worth hunting down got a really cheesy uh sergio martino film here the big alligator river it's amazing that's such a such a trashy italian film about a, a really big alligator killing people you know a jaws type of ripoff um got such a luxe treatment but that's awesome uh my communication re-releases this later under the title alligator it's also known by a shit ton of titles like uh the Big Alligator and other such titles there. Now, when No Shame went out of business, a lot of the people that ran that company formed a different company called Maya Communication. 
But um, and my communication started to re-release re a lot of the no sh no shame titles and such. But uh, that's as far as the comparisons go, because my communication isn't near as good a company as No Shame. The first my communication DVD I ever bought was the long-awaited Dario Gento film Four Flies on Gray Velvet. It's a pretty good DVD release. Um, a lot of fans bitched about it because like um, it's missing maybe a few minutes of footage. Um, oh, what else? Uh, the audio, the English audio track is taken from a PAL source, so the the voices sound a little different. To me, I could give a rat's ass. I am just fucking ecstatic that it got released on DVD. So I thought that was a good release. And I was really impressed with my communication at first. Um, got uh, The Scorpion with Two Tails, uh, a giallo that was actually made for television, Sergio Martino. Very, very passable, but I love this cult stuff, so I would have bought it anyway. Um, the cover is very reminiscent of Lucio Fucci's uh, uh, The House by the Cemetery poster artwork there. Um, has deleted scenes. So has some good... Uh, stuff on that disc. Waited for years for this, The Island of the Fishmen, Sergio Martino's uh, wonderful ripoff of The Island of Dr. Moreau. Um, not, nothing really for extras here, but uh, I'm just glad it got released. Uh, no shame put it out in Italy, but they never put it out in America, so my communication did. Um, a lot of people prefer the American cut called Screamers, which Roger Corman picked up and distributed in the United States and added a lot of gore and special effects to. Um, I've actually, believe it or not, never seen that version, um, but I am glad to have the original on DVD. Uh, the Strange Vice of Mrs. Ward is a jello I missed out getting from the No Shame release. That, that version was going for $40 or more, and I'm like, oh, holy hell. I found this version, the Maya Communication re-release, uh, under the title Blade of the Ripper for like 12 bucks, so... Uh, it, it doesn't have the extra features, but you know what, for the price, um, I was willing to, to go with this version instead. Got uh, Lamberto Bava's made-for-television movie, Until Death, released in England as The Changeling 2, uh, The Return. Um, a really good Italian made-for-TV horror movie, marred by an uh, English soundtrack on here that is really beat up. A lot of clicking and hissing. Very hard to listen to. Uh, the Italian audio track is flawless, but of course my communication didn't put any subtitles on it. So unless you speak Italian, you're shit out of luck. So Another Lamberto Bava made for TV. I really enjoyed this one. Dinner with a Vampire for made for TV Italian horror. I found that pretty enjoyable. Another Lamberto Bava made-for-TV horror film, Graveyard Disturbance. These films were impossible to find until my communication came out with them. Uh, I, this, the transfer is really good, uh, widescreen anamorphic. Um, uh, it's not a very good movie, but I enjoyed it. Now, there's a sister company to my communication called 1-7 Films, and uh, I only have one of their releases, uh, Sir, uh, Antonio Magarati's uh, Alien from the Deep, really enjoyable, cheesy, sci-fi, horror film, action film, so, um, you have to be careful with my communication DVDs, because, um, uh, they release a lot of films that are VHS transfers and not good VHS transfers, and they charge over 20 bucks for them, so, um, before I buy a, uh, a my communication DVD, I always do research and read reviews to make sure, all the ones I have are good transfers, widescreen, um, but a lot of people have been soured by the company because they are kind of shady that way, and that's a shame since No Shame was so good. Um, so, but uh, they've released a, Maya has released a lot of DVDs, but most of them are soft core stuff, it's not up my alley. I prefer legit films. Um, but uh, the ones I mentioned in my review, they're worth picking up because the transfers are good. So uh, that's my No Shame, my Maya communication, and my one one seven DVD release. So peace out for now.